What's good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a brand new WWE Elite action figure review on the brand new Survivor Series 2020 WWE Elite set. Now, I'm not sure if this is Walmart exclusive. I don't think it's Walmart exclusive. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think this set is Walmart exclusive. You know, in the past, this was supposed to be Walmart exclusive. I think even last year's set with Jeff Hardy, Shinsuke, Don Morocco, and Alicia Fox, all of those figures ended up not even hitting retail, I don't think. So, they only went to online retail. Retailers. I never saw them in person. I don't think I, I don't remember a single person finding those at Walmart. So maybe after the first series, Walmart said, "F that, Brad. I don't. I don't want your. I don't want your set. All right. More like no Survivor Series. How about that? No Survivors in this set, as they did not hit retail. But this set, I think, is the strongest that we've ever gotten. You guys remember in Series One, we had Bliss, Styles, and Rude, and then of course Morocco, Fox, Shinsuke, and Jeff Hardy. And the Shinsuke and Jeff Hardy from that set were really good. The Don Morocco is underrated, but I think you have four really good figures here and all four of them are going to be sought after so this is really big stuff i am actually really excited to get into it guys let's go ahead and break down the packaging because it looks epic sauce i guess we can use johnny morrison as our base right here so on your front viewing window you have the beautiful john morrison down here it says survivor series john morrison with the red color i like the little swoosh you got going right here really cool packaging how you have the raw nxt and smackdown colors going on at the top you got this little i don't know like kind of electronic tron type deal going on on the top you get a picture of morrison on the back you get the same photo with some imagery and stuff if you'd like to read that you can pause it now this is supposedly from survivor series 2007 in a triple threat ecw championship match rest of the figures in the wave and then you have another beautiful image of morrison with his absolutely sexy body i mean just look at him then if we're taking a front viewing window of the rest of them guys here is drew mcintyre looking a little bit different than his rest of his elites next up we do have samoan joseph and that one's looking really good really love the blue shorts maybe my favorite joe attire that we've gotten so far we'll have to see and then and last but not least, you have the beautiful cane that looks great with the Survivor Series chair. This one is epic. I've, I've been very much looking forward to this one, so that looks great, bro. Survivor Series 2001, absolutely fantastic. But I think that pretty much breaks down everything, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and crack all these Survivor Series Elite figures out of their packaging. Oh, hell no. Nah. Alright guys, so here is the full set out of the packaging, and just to be honest with you, if the lighting's a little bit off or something, it's because one of my lamps, I don't know if you guys saw in the vlog yesterday, but one of my lamps just snapped completely in half, and so I gotta I gotta tape it and fix it before I can put it back up. So we're dealing with four or five lamps instead of the, the genuine six or so that we usually use, but let's get in here, guys. I think we're gonna do it the exact way we did the top picks line. I felt like that was probably the best way to do so for all these figures, because if I just ran through the accessories in great detail and went through and through, I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on these than I did with the top pick set because these aren't just full, you know, straight up re-releases, but I'm going to scoot them back a little bit and we're just going to dive straight in, guys. I guess we can start off with, uh, let's go ahead and start with Samoa Joe. Let's start off with Samoa Joe over here and just trying to get into what he's got going on right here. So, with this Samoa Joe figure, I think that it is a pretty damn good figure. I like the head sculpt a lot on this guy. So, scooting in here, you guys will probably see that mine has a little bit of details missing here on the hair. You guys see that at the, at the hairline right there? You see that black missing? Not the biggest deal. I can easily fix it, but I know it's worth pointing out. He also has a little dot there. But I like it. I like the skin tone. For some reason, the skin tone is coming out really, really clean. I like it a lot. I like the beard. The only thing I hate about this Samoa Joe head sculpt is this chin. I mean, what is that? Like, look at that chin. It just looks so fake. Like, the beard has no texture to it. We need more texturing from the beard and, like, sculpt. And then when you cover it in black paint, it would look a lot more natural. It just looks like his chin is extended. Like, he's got a crimson chin effort coming on. And I'm not a big fan of that. But I like the, uh, the little light color we got going on over here. He does have the elbow pad over here, but it is painted on. I'm okay with that. I'm not too big into that. One thing I do hate is the peg being the skin color instead of the white. I hate that. That bothers me a lot. But what are you going to do, Brad? You just got to build bridges and get over it. Over here, we do have the blue shorts. This is new for Samoa Joe. We have never seen the blue color. We've gotten yellow. We've gotten green. We've gotten red. We've gotten a couple reds, actually. Actually, we may have had even three reds. Is it three reds? You got the two-pack with Samoa Joe and Rey Mysterio. You got the Elite 64, and then you have the Elite 43. So that's crazy, but one thing that is going to bum some people out is if you guys remember on the newer Joe releases, they molded this top leg in red. That is not the case this time. They molded it in black and they painted over it with blue. So if you're a pick fetter, if you like to pose your figures around a lot, you are going to get some paint chipping on this leg eventually and that is unfortunate. I do hate that we're getting that. Maybe we'll get another Samoa Joe down the line without that problem, but you do see that. You do get a little blue feeding over here onto the black. Got your standard Samoa Joe knee pads, kick pads, and everything. I mean, I like this. 
I like this Joe. I think it's solid. I like it a lot. I'm glad that we finally got the missing blue color. And I like Samoa Joe's figures. I think they're actually pretty underrated. So there is Samoa Joe. And for his accessories, guys, he gets his standard towel that we've seen 652 times. You guys saw it on the figure. You just kind of wrap it around the neck. I saved Joe's life right there. Did you guys see that? You just kind of wrap but you just put the towel around the neck here. My left ankle right here is a little bit loosey-goosey, but not the biggest deal. He also comes with mic holding. God in heaven. He comes with mic holding hands, skin tone pegs still here, and I, I, they, again, every figure should get mic holding hands. It's, it's, it's a must. And then we have this cloth Smackdown t-shirt, which I don't think we've ever seen before. It is cut off because Samoa Joe wears the cut off sleeves, and this is from Survivor Series where he wore the Smackdown shirt. I guess if you wanted to grab a lot of Samoa Joe's figure here, if you grabbed a ton of those, you could just, you know, make a full Survivor Series team, but there is our cloth SmackDown shirt. Next up, guys, we do have Kane. And for Kane, this one does have, you know, a lot of little little bitty problems, nothing too crazy. One thing that is driving me nuts with Kane is he has been getting the same exact head sculpt for years and 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 years. This man, I don't think, has ever had two different different mask sculpts. I don't think he's ever had two different head sculpts. This is the same Elite 12, the ringside exclusive. Any cane you get, like a classic early 2000s, late 90s cane, has this head sculpt, and I am just so sick of seeing this head sculpt. I want a new head sculpt for this guy. So that would be really nice to see. I love this attire. I think the Survivor Series 2001 attire is nice because it's like the hardcore cane, but it is in the red and black instead. Really nice. Still plenty of attires they could give us, but I do love this change. You got the Luke Harper style arms, which I'll probably be switching out. Got the big black knee pad over here. I love this going on. There is some paint chipping. Where did I see that paint chipping? There's some paint chipping somewhere. Maybe it's on the back or something. But yeah, we have like a bunch of black dots and missing paint in the center right there. Got a little black dot missing. He's also missing the studs on his belt, which I'll have to add. So I don't know why that happened, but we'll get into the comparison shot. I forgot to do the damn comparisons for Samoa Joe. God in heaven. But doing your comparison shot here, you guys can see they did leave off the studs on the belt, so that is unfortunate. And they put the gauntlets on the wrong side, so I'm going to have to switch those gauntlets over. I'll probably do that here in a moment, but you guys can see there's the difference there, and here is our cane comparison, and this is more of a head sculpt that I'd like to see them do. This is an R3 Tech Jax head sculpt, and just look how much beefier this cane looks. This just looks so much more accurate to how Kane looked in the early 2000s. He was absolutely jacked, so I got the Braun Strowman arms on there, and that looks so good, man. I, I love this cane fix-up, and this head sculpt is just far superior. I like the hair mold. I like the likeness to Kane. I just, I, I definitely like like this a whole lot more. Going down into the legs, you do get the same flame designs in different colors. I do like that we got more of a shinier boot going on than over here. This is more of a matte, and his boots were always shiny, so that's cool to see, but I really like the cane figure, man. Kane was always one of my favorites growing up, so I really enjoy this cane figure. I think it looks great. And then for his accessory, you do get the interchangeable fisted hands, which is kind of, I don't know why they gave him fisted hands, but he also has the skin tone peg with the black gloves, so that's also unfortunate. I'd like to see Mike holding hands, because these are choke slamming hands. You need choke slamming hands, mic holding hands, and then fists if you want to throw those in. But I would much rather I'd, re I'd much rather have mic holding hands over the uh, over the fist. But I mean, you can put a mic in this hand, I guess. So it's not a huge, it's not a massive deal, but just something I wanted to point it out. And I also like that red color; it's a nice saturation. And then you have the Survivor Series chair here with the logo on there, and it is. You, you guys know how Mattel's folding chairs are; they're a little bit thicker, and uh, they they look pretty good. I like the chair here; it feels nice. Got the padding on there; it's like a front row seat chair if you were to get one at the event. But real quick, before we get into Johnny Mundo, Morrison, Nitro, fart bag, I want to get into the Samoa Joe figure comparison. So here is the new Samoa Joe, and then here he is compared to the other Samoa Joe in the two-pack with Rey Mysterio, the WrestleMania 35 two-pack, and uh, it's the same exact figure as you guys can see. Same exact elbow pad, skin tone peg, except they molded this leg in red, so this one will not paint chip, and he comes with a cloth t-shirt, and I'm pretty sure this came with a towel as well, so I don't know, and you guys see what I'm talking about with the Skin tone? Skin tone just looks better over here on the right side. What do you guys think? I just, I, I don't know. It's it, This is more of like a yellowish tone or more like flushed out. This just looks more natural to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. But not only do we have that, but we also have the, the GameStop exclusive in the yellow right here. So which one do you guys like better? You got the yellow, the GameStop exclusive, and then you have the Elite 64 head sculpt, and then you have the two-pack here in the blue. And I didn't even grab my Elite 56 for the green, so just, just, just move on. Next up, guys, is one of the figures I was probably most excited for in the set, and that is got to be Johnny Morrison, man. John Morrison, this figure looks great, dude. We have had, we have not had a John Morrison Elite figure in so very long, so to see this figure released looks absolutely epic. 
Getting into the head sculpt first, I'm honestly not the biggest fan of this head sculpt. It looked better in the promo pictures. Maybe I just got a bad one or something, but it seems like there's so much skin down here on the bottom that it kind of makes him look like he's a bit chunky down here. If you guys, you guys see what I'm talking about, how he looks a little bit chunk down here in the bottom. And you guys know that John Morrison has like 6% body fat, so that's definitely not the case. He also has a little bump there on his forehead, and he has a little nipple slice right there, which I'm not appreciating. Ab crunch feels good. The waist feels good as well. He does have his very jacked arms down here, so if you guys take off these massive elbow pads that actually just fall right off the figure. They don't even stick to the figure. They come right off. You could put this on Undertaker. You could put this on Kane, as you guys can see back there. And I think John Morrison did rock the massive elbow pad, so that is accurate, but he's got the gigantic, like, Dolph Ziggler-style arms. I really like his wrist tape, how it's got, like, the black and white on there. It looks really good. Going down into the pants, I love this, like, copper and bronze and goldish color that we got. It's like a lightish metallic purplish bronze. I don't even know how to describe it, but I like all the deco we got going on. His figures are just really nice, and I know that his last figure, his Elite Four figure, had really good articulation. This is the same way. The joints don't feel like they're going to snap in half on you. They feel really good to pose around. John Morrison's a very fun figure to pose around, so I don't think you guys are going to have any issues with that. One thing I don't like is, uh, well, first of all, you do have the gold uh, tassels down here, but one thing I don't like is that they don't slide up too much because the, the calf is too thick. So then, like, when you try to articulate the ankle, it's kind of difficult, and when he comes out of the package, his ankle isn't flat rest. It's kind of, like, at an angle, and he could be, like, leaning forward on you, so that's kind of unfortunate. I got the, the right ankle, but the left one's kind of giving me fitsies. But I still really like the John Morrison figure. I think it looks excellent. And for John Morrison's accessories, you don't get the beautiful fur coat, but you do get probably the best-looking SmackDown Tag Team Championship of all time. This is just a gorgeous championship. I remember back in the day, during the Ruthless Aggression era growing up as a kid, this was such a beautiful title. I had a kid's belt of this. I had two sets of the Raw Tag Titles and then the SmackDown Tag Titles. And uh, I used to have epic trampoline football matches over these titles. This this is epic. Love this title. Great to add it to the collection. I know they put it in the belt pack, but this is this is beautiful. If I see this at retail, I'm going to grab them just for this championship alone. And I, th I think this may be the best championship tag title design in WWE history, probably. He also comes with Mike holding hands over the fist that he comes out of the packaging with for his entrance, so you love to see that. And he comes with signature sunglasses, which are always known for John Morrison, and we are going to plug this on right here to see what we got going on. And they fit the figure nice. He's got the nice sideburn mutton chops going. He looks good. And for your Johnny Football Morrison comparisons, we do got to get his Elite Four figure in here, and this is what we got going on. I also want to put this coat over on this guy real quick. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. And I think that actually works out pretty good. I like the, you know, the maroonish color kind of ties into the gold and stuff. I mean, it's not a perfect match by any means, but if you wanted to use it for photography or your pick fed or something, I think you could get away with it. I definitely want to track down more of this Morrison figure. I hope we can get it at retail. It doesn't come with a fur coat, so maybe it won't be as sought after as maybe his other figures have been in the past, but there is a comparison. I think I like this attire more, but I love this black and red. That That is pretty sick ass. I don't know. I like both. John, John Morrison's a pretty beautiful man, though, so I don't know. Look at pretty good to me, Brad, but that pretty much does it for your John Morrison Elite Figure comparisons. And then for our final figure in the set, we have our WWE Champion, and I mean, this one's pretty much just like the Top Talents one that we just saw. His trunks are a little bit different. You have the same exact head sculpt here. For his accessories, he has the same exact hair in the face head sculpt. I have so many of the hair in the face head sculpt, man. We have the signature, what did I call him? I don't even know. The leg slapped hands. What did I even call him? I don't remember what I said in that last video. He does have his instant Claymore hands. I don't know why I said instant, like instant oatmeal over here, Brad. You got the instant oatmeal hands, but you have Mike holding hands as well out of the packaging, which you love to see. And then we do have the opposite side of Samoa Joe, which is the Raw 2016 logo or 2017 logo. He may have even had this in 2018, but you have the, the older Raw logo on the sleeveless shirt, which is the opposite of your Samoa Joe, so you guys can buy a bunch of them and have your own, you know, Survivor Series teams. But as far as the trunks go, which is the only thing that's new about this Drew McIntyre figure, you got the trunks with the Celtic crosses on the sides, and then you have the McIntyre with the lion there in the red color, and I think I do like these trunks more. I'm not sure if it's because it's new, or if it's just because I like it more, but I just like the colors more. It just kind of fits the trunks better, and then you have the crosses there with the silver outline compared to the red outline. I mean, still very, very similar. I mean, Drew McIntyre's attires are not very, you know, crazy or over the top, so there's not much you can do with it, but that pretty much does it for your Drew McIntyre Elite. Pretty standard. Same knee pads, boots, interchangeable hands, head sculpts, torsos, 
goes nothing too over the top. But before we get out of here, guys, I do want to rank these figures from worst to best, in my own personal opinion, or the ones that I like the most. So coming in at the bottom of the ranking, I am going to put Drew McIntyre simply because it's the exact same Drew McIntyre that we got in Elite 70, the top picks. It's basically his NXT Elite with a slightly different head sculpt, pretty much. Coming in at number three, I am going to go with Samoa Joe. Pretty much a re-release, but it is in the blue attire, which I do slightly like more compared to the Drew McIntyre in the slightly different attire. If he had diff different trunks or maybe different colorways, maybe it'd be different, but it's just really hard to like. Drew McIntyre is great. I love him as a talent. His figures are just kind of boring unless you don't have a Drew McIntyre. But compared to other Drews and stuff like that, it's just not that, you know. But I like the Samoa Joe. I have him coming in at number three. Coming in at number two, I have the Kane figure. You know, without the studs on the belt, there are a lot of fix-ups we're going to do to this thing. The same exact head sculpt. I'm just like, man, can I get something new here? And then at number one, I do have John Morrison. He doesn't come with the fur coat. That would probably put him at number one automatically, but I don't know. I like it. It is a slightly different head sculpt. It's painted a little bit differently. I don't think it's the same head sculpt with True Effects. It could be, but I could be mistaken. But I think I like the John Morrison the best. I like the articulation. It's been a long time since we had a John Morrison. He also comes with the classic SmackDown Tag Team Championship, or the WWE Tag Team Championship, I should, I should say. Overall, really strong set. Really like it a lot. I recommend it a lot. I don't think this set is on Ringside Collectibles just yet, but if they do end up putting it up there, guys, use promo code MDTOYS to save 10% when shopping this set over there, or shopping any other wrestling action figures. Use promo code MD toys but i think that is going to do it for the survivor series elite set guys class of champions tonight so expect the review that is going to do it for today's video guys thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter my name toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you